What's up, Army? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. I'm Nick. Man, y'all seen the picture, y'all seen the thumbnail. Y'all know exactly why y'all here to watch BTS eat. Um, some Chipotle and, you know, another Bang Tang Bomb that we're going to be doing. Man, how's y'all day going, man? Y'all cool? Um, before we get into everything, I just want to say thank you, guys. Um, you know, there have been people who've been rocking out with us since our channel started, since... 2021 who are still here um and you know i hate doing psa's and feeling like i gotta address things and stuff like that um but i love y'all man i seen y'all in the comments um especially in the last couple videos and stuff um really talking about like you know being more positive and just kind of talking to people who are being a little bit more toxic and everything um in 2020 when i first fell in love with bts i was in a dark place was very depressed and they helped me with finding finding ways to love myself again to get over a lot of hurdles and humps i was going through in life and also reinvigorated my love for music so i am indefinitely in great well grateful for like bts just you know making a lot of major changes in my life um so with that being said you know when that happened i was trying to show bts to other people um because you know when i find something good i me personally i always try to like put other people on um and me and all my friends and everybody i talk to i'm i always just have great conversations and i always wanted to do a channel for music um so you know i was like let me you know start this channel and bts was definitely going to be a pillar for everything that you know we do on the channel um so you know whenever we started things like choreo battles or we would have like discussions um about you know the future of members or just anything like that none of it never comes from a place of like any negativity any animosity no like trying to start a fan war or anything it's just that's how me and my friends like talk about things like, you know, let's say LeBron James, uh, like he's my favorite player. It's always going to be comparisons like, you know, is LeBron the greatest ever or even currently now, like, you know, is LeBron a top five player, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, I have conversations with my friends about stuff like that. It never turns nasty. Um, it doesn't turn into people dissing like LeBron or anything else and stuff like that. Well, at least most people. Um, and we kind of leave it at that. Now, mind you, I'm not, you know, I'm, I know it's going to be people out there that do take those opportunities and turn it into negativity and everything else. But, you know, I just feel like people that know us and have been here for a very long time understand that the only thing we're doing is we're just being honest and having conversation and putting good vibes out there and, we try our best to limit the negativity and the people trolling when I can. Um, but, you know, I, I think that's honestly just going to be a part of life. Um, with that being said, you know, in 2024, we want to have fun. Uh, we want to do decent content for BTS. We want to be able to have discussions. And, you know, we don't want to create a toxic environment or anything, but we just hope people are adult enough to be able to conversate with each other to give input to put people on things and provide people even with new information because that's how you learn um i didn't know shit about k-pop y'all helped me with mostly all the knowledge that i have um and that was through you know conversations some people may have been arguing and shit but you know regardless we you know all came to a common ground and were able to like obtain new information from that um, so, you know, 2024, I just want it to be a year of um, just more decent content for us being able to have fun. And um, it's, it's going to be up and it's going to be stuck. Um, already working to, to implement new things as far as like content goes. And I want y'all experience here just to be different than any place else in the world. Um, so I'm going to talk more about that later on. I've probably been rambling for a minute now, uh, but we can jump into this. And uh, see BTS uh, like eating and stuff like that. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure this probably was, this was the Corden show. Maybe this was the, uh, when they did the crosswalk thing with the permission to dance butter thing. Chipotle or Cordoba? Let me know in the comments. J Hope. Do y'all get bowls or do y'all get uh y'all get Charles Jones in a burrito wrapped up? Good as shit. <laughs> Sidebar too. Um, uh, you know, like Stetchy Top with uh Suge is fucking amazing. Like that's one of my favorite variety things that we do. I'm surprised Jin hasn't done like a a show where he like is cooking on there with other idols and like you know they're having conversations and it's almost interview based but like a, a cooking show like you know imagine it's called like stirring it up with Jen or <laughs> Jen's kitchen or something like that and then it's like an interview based John maybe I'm speaking in existence somebody can hear it but like something like that like especially because he did the um when he was uh like doing the interviews and shit for the uh, like the behind the story joins and stuff all like that was killing it and he's a, and he's also a good MC like one of the run episodes and everything too and shit like that so i'm i'm surprised that hasn't been a thing he should get into that got to get the steak Love steak. That's always interesting too. Um, like, you know, obviously when we watch them, um, you know, a lot of their dishes are kimchi based. Um, and I love the way they eat too, how like they'll have everything kind of just out and everybody kind of like shares and everything. It's always interesting when we have an opportunity to see what they like when they come to America, as far as like where they like to order and what places like they like to go to and everything. Um, so, you know, that's dope, especially when you can only get certain things like here that maybe they weren't able to get, like, you know, in South Korea. I smile every time I see Hope. Shake your shit. I mean, always I'll be singing. <laughs> Damn that interface. Um, let me get out of here real quick. So he wasn't gonna sneak out of here. He's gonna get a little sing sing in. Um, yeah, but I told y'all I wanted to, to do two of these, almost like a, a double whammy for y'all to have a conversation. I love watching BTS eat, man. I feel like um, some of their best conversations was around the dinner table with them. Whether it's Bon Voyage and The Soup. Um, make sure y'all watching those two brand new episodes coming soon, too, for Bon Voyage. Um, like, you always get some of the best conversations when they are literally just eating and just, like, you know, vibing and talking and everything. Awesome. Food tables cleared up. <laughs> yeah, everything in here inconspicuously. J-Hope! I want to eat chocolate. Mm -hmm. 
Glizzy. <laughs> Jim is smiling like he about to take a bite out of that joint too. We caught him, Army. Got him. Some onions and some. What did he put relish on there? What do y'all put on your hot dogs? I'm minimalist. I don't put too much on there. I'll, I have a little bit of cheese, ketchup, uh, mustard. Can we put mayo on this shit? We got one. Got another one. <laughs> Jim probably had to make one too. Another thing, too, uh, when it comes to them eating and everything is, um, like, you know, I've seen them say multiple times, like, yo, you know, I starved myself almost for three days because I wanted to look really good for the comeback or, you know, for the interview and everything. And I get it. Um, like, you know, a lot of people want to be them best selves whenever, you know, they're putting out something new to the world and everything like that. Um, but I'm real protective of them, and I'm real big on making sure that, like, they're healthy. Because sometimes being thin doesn't always, like, equate to healthy. Um, and, you know, I just be wanting them to be able to have days where they can pick out a little bit and just kind of have fun. Because food is, like, a love language, um, especially to them. You can see how, like, they feed each other and how, like, you know, them cooking is, is like, sessions and everything as far as, like, uh, like family time almost when they have opportunity to eat with each other um, so you know I, it, it always makes me feel good seeing them like love each other around food and feed each other and just be nature and, and nurturing nurturing and that you know aspect of everything just wanted to put that out there <laughs> Whoever put everything out, they did a good job, too. <laughs> oh, they went for a second serving. I was about to say, I thought the I thought the Glizzies had them sweating. They probably just got done uh, out there serving. Picasso on a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Took a bite out of crime. Don't do it, Jimmy. The boy sitting there looking good like this is a hot dog commercial. 
taking a bite out of crumb. <laughs> oh, I thought V was on demon time. I thought he just was holding the, the sausage in his hand. <laughs> I was going to say, damn. All right, he went corn dog style. <laughs> <laughs> Different disease from the ones we had on the Ellen show. That's funny too, yo. Um, <laughs> the bun can really be like the end all be all for a hot dog for real. Like, if the bun is trash, sometimes they make the hot dog just like, ah. Like, y'all ever had, like, a bun and it's just, like, dry as shit? Even when you put, like, your mustard ketchup and everything on and, like, the inside of the bun is just corny as shit. It can ruin the whole hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's funny as shit. Um, I'm a, hot dogs gotta be like more of a probably a U.S. thing, maybe than anything else. I'm assuming. Isn't that one of our pastime foods and shit? Um. I love seeing them just interact and just having fun. Oh my god. <laughs> um yeah, another thing too, y'all, uh, that I wanna make sure I do for twenty twenty four is really, you know, be able to watch like these bang tang bombs. Um, just because, you know, I I've told y'all before I don't react to nothing unless like I'm in front of the camera and y'all see it. Um, just because, you know, I, I be wanting y'all to get like my genuine and real time reaction to things. And I'll be wanting y'all to kind of see what my journey has been with them, you know, so it's kind of like documented, uh, you know, most of the stuff that I've been able to, you know, capture outside of something that may have been like a clip on YouTube or something, um, well, a clip on IG or, uh, like Twitter or X or something like that. Um, but as far as like the YouTube content goes and, and everything else and shit that we watch, it's, you know, documented and y'all been able to follow me on this journey. Um, so in 2024, it's so many behind the scenes. Um, like I said, all these, the bang tang bombs and just other things that I've never really had an opportunity to really watch. Um, and you know, there's a group that I love. I want to be able to, you know, get into some B, I want to call them like B-sides content. <laughs> But uh, just, you know, the, the different content that's available that, you know, I have been able to watch, um, especially the behind the scenes for some music videos where I've had like a lot of questions. And I know with this company, we have a film background and everything. So, you know, it's I want to be able to see how some of these things were shot and how, you know, uh, they were able to kind of cook up some of this uh, like magic, you know, what I mean, in front of the camera and behind the camera. Um, so, you know, just be prepared for like a lot more of these to be dropping. Um, you know, we're still going to be doing the B-side stuff that we haven't done, concerts, documentaries, um, and just everything that you guys have been asking for. Just trying to wrap up a few things that we got going on so we can really hit the ground running for 2024. Um, but like I said in an earlier video, you guys are really appreciated. Um, you know, I love this group to death, and I, I love doing this. Reactions and just chilling with y'all really are escapism for me. Um, you know, just whenever anxiety or depression or anything like, you know, kicks in and I'm having a tough week, my escape and my getaway is being able to just watch all this fire content and talk to y'all and just have fun. Um, so, you know, I, I want to be able to continue doing that and just have fun during 2024 getting into all that. And I just wanted y'all to know how important y'all are to that. Um, you know, this whole page being made 
really was to start a community of people who maybe don't have other people to talk to, um, you know, about K-pop um, and about BTS. Uh, when I first, you know, got into this, I had nobody to talk to. Um, you know, Jarek has slightly knew about BTS and we would have light conversations, but that was only with me being a few songs in and him being a few songs in. And then everybody else that y'all see on the page I, I put on. Um, and it's more people who want to join the uh, the panel who, you know, uh, might be a little bit hard being transparent with y'all just because I know some, a lot of people don't, <laughs> you know, if you've been here for two years, some of y'all don't want to see like another dynamite reaction or another uh, like butter reaction um, or just, you know, maybe some other songs. Some people hate Make It Right, but people who've been here since day one, I think y'all know how important like Make It Right is to our channel. Um, with that being said, you know, if I introduce four new people to BTS, uh, I don't want to just like throw them in the mix. I want them to be able to, you know, kind of see all the, the fire shit that we had an opportunity to see. Um, and, you know, I try to do it on camera. So I, I'd be wanting some people to see the logic behind some of the stuff that we do here. Um, you know, whether it's that, like I said, the logic with choreo battles and just other things. Um, you know, it's just at the end of the day, you want this experience to be fun for the people reacting and everything, too. Um, and that's kind of the logic. Uh, but, you know, no matter what happens, y'all always going to get BTS content from me. Um, I'm true to myself and I'm true to them. And people that have been here, like I said, y'all know, know the love I have for my guys. Uh, so I don't really got to explain that too much. Um, but, yeah, this was fun. Um, like I said, just seeing them have conversations, eating and doing shit. Um, is a highlight for me, Glizzy Gobblers. Um, <laughs> more content like this coming soon. 2024 is going to be amazing. Um, putting a calendar together just to be able to, to map out not only the next couple months of everything, but just try to put a strategy together on how I can attack a lot of stuff that I want us to get into. But more changes coming to the channel, some decent announcements coming soon. Like I said, I appreciate you guys because y'all really could have been anywhere else in the world, but y'all here listening to me. And I don't care if that's one person or if it's 40,000 people. Um, you guys are loved and appreciated. Thank you. Have a blessed day. I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.